the award-winning founder and CEO of PayGen, Lawrence Kemble Cook. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Lawrence. Um, I'm an entrepreneur and CEO of PaveGen. Um, I had an idea to generate energy from people's footsteps. I had the idea that we could generate renewable power from every step people take. You could generate energy, store it in batteries, and use it to help power cities of the future. So I graduated Loughborough University in 2009 with a big idea. It was a really tough time. The university didn't want to help me. The venture capital community didn't want to help. They didn't believe it would work. And even the regional development agencies said it would never work either. So we had a really tough time. I spent many years thinking about this idea. And eventually, I raised investment from 2,000 investors internationally and based in the UK. And we've had some incredible success internationally since. We recently took it for one of our first projects to a favela in Brazil. We use the energy of people playing sports, playing football on a pitch. We use that energy to power the lights in a favela community. So the power of sport turned the lights on and kept them on. And also in the United States. Now, the Trump administration may not be well known for their views on renewable energy, but on the day of Trump's inauguration, we installed a contract in the heart of Washington, D.C., not far from the White House, where we used the energy of people walking, 10,000 people a day, to power all the lights in the central area. We've taken this technology, it's gone to Korea, Hong Kong, we've even just delivered one of our first major contracts in California with a large, one of the largest banks in the area. So it's incredibly exciting times. Our first project in the Middle East has just happened. It's now at Abu Dhabi Airport, where the thousands of visitors a day are helping to power the airport, and it gives data and insights into how people are moving in the airport environment. So we're really excited about the future, from the United States to Asia and so forth. There's so much potential for a core technology like PaveGen, manufactured in the UK, with a team based in London of engineers, designers, and developers making this happen. So entrepreneurs like me, are used to na navigating obstacles to build a business. For me, Brexit challenges are no different. So I want to focus on the future. We want to look at positivity and supporting international growth. And we've done all this with things like the support of the Department for International Trade that actually helped put our company on a map internationally, from going to China with David Cameron in 2013 and other international trips that really helped to, to shape us. Now, in just a moment, I will be introducing uh, his right honorable Liam Fox MP. But before that, now Liam and I may not agree on everything. You know, some of the tech sector and myself you know, voted remain. But what we do agree on for the future is this. SMEs are the lifeblood of the UK economy. In today's fast-moving world, <laughs> so SMEs are the lifeblood of the UK economy. In today's fast-moving world, with digital disruption on the horizon, we need to support new ideas, new technologies that can really make Britain great. Ideas, design, manufacturing, technology are all things that I believe puts the UK in a great position for the future. We really need to nurture these ideas to actually make sure that in two, three years' time, we're one of the strongest forces in the world. So I'd like to introduce to the stage uh, the man behind it who's really pushing international trade, his right honourable Liam Fox, MP. Thank you.